Hi, I'm going to show you now how to replicate the problem for the smart links to SharePoint Online for a federated domain with Office 365. And uh, let's start uh, with this WIF application that I've built uh, just with the wizard of Visual Studio in order to collect the same claims uh, that uh, the same ADFS server that uh, this application is federated uh, with uh, normally sends uh, to the Microsoft uh, Federation Gateway in order to allow the Active Directory users uh, to be authenticated on Office 365. In fact, if I take uh, from my WIF application this uh, link, which is the custom URL for Microsoft uh, Online Portal, and I paste it uh, here, I'm uh, connected to Microsoft uh, Online Portal Server for Office 365 without being asked the password anymore, or the username even. So it works. Now let's do it again, but uh, with uh, another um, example. Let's take the same link to the application. Let's put the same username and password. But at this time, rather than going to the Microsoft Online portal, I will go to Outlook Online. As you can see, this is another custom URL, which is outlook.com slash federated domain. And again, if I go here and I paste, no, not this one, of course, this link, and I paste the OWA custom URL, I'm connected on uh, my email um, server without asking the password. Now, from here, I could click uh, here above on the team site, which is the link to the uh, SharePoint online portal. If I click on here, again, I'm connected uh, on the SharePoint online portal again without uh, being asked the password. And you can see this custom URL, which I'm now storing uh, in order to show you how to build, uh, how I built the, the custom URL. In order to be able to put this custom URL on my WIF application, click on it and uh, be redirected automatically to my uh, to my uh, SharePoint online because it wouldn't work otherwise and I, I can show you let me put this link uh, right here and then I can show you that uh, if I go again to my application and I put uh, username and password and I try this time to go to this custom URL for SharePoint, it doesn't work because I'm asked username and password again, and this is not what I want, as you can see. By the way, I have uh, this user stored on this machine, so it's easier for me to 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 write it uh, because I don't have to write; I just have to click on the user. But this is not the behavior I want. I want the same behavior that I have for the online portal and for Outlook. So, in order to build the custom URL for um, SharePoint Online, the solution indicated by the article that is uh, referenced uh, here in my text file that I will share with you together with this video, I should run uh, an HTTP tracer like Fiddler and then I should uh, do what uh, I have to do to get authenticated on SharePoint. So I go straight to SharePoint uh, from a blank uh, Internet Explorer session, then I put my username and password, I, I can do, let, let me do exactly the, the whole path. 
so I put uh, as it is uh, a, a completely new user, a completely new machine. As you know, when I put uh, a federated user, I'm not uh, allowed to put the password, but I am redirected to my ADFS server where I put my username, my password, and I'm in. Good. So now I go to Fiddler and I should take the very last call to my um, ADFS server, which is this one. copy just the URL because Unibo is the very last uh, is, the, is my ADFS server and this is uh, that I just uh, took the last uh, call to my ADFS server so I can close Fiddler now I can go to a text editor and, I, and then I can put this smart link by the way, I put it twice just to show you the difference between the two because now I have to do a small uh, operation. So I should cut this portion until WA included, uh, excluded, and then I should cut this last part. Okay, so you have. Uh, Okay, actually I have changed the, 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 the line above. And um, so you, you have the modified uh, uh, URL, the smart link uh, above and the original link below. So this is the old and this is the new. Okay, so let's take this one. And now let's do everything again from scratch. Let's go to CA1, my application. I put the username and password and then I put here the smart link to SharePoint Online and it works so apparently I have uh, solved the problem because uh, I can go to the online portal I can go to Outlook I can go to SharePoint and I'm never asked the password so what is the problem? the problem is that uh, this link, that this custom link that uh, we have here, that I've uh, customized following the article that says uh, how to build it, just works uh, for a few minutes. In a few minutes this link won't be available anymore. So um, let me try to see if we are lucky, <laughs> in, in quotes, and uh, so let me try to to see if um, we can reproduce the problem right now otherwise we will have to wait for a few minutes and in a few minutes uh, the problem is clear so I'm deleting the browsing history the cookies and so on and so forth probably this is not needed but uh, just to be sure so le let's do it again Let's go to the WIF application, username and password. And now let's put the smart link. Okay, in this case, I think it works again. So let's do the following. Um, I will uh, uh, suspend this uh, this presentation for for a few minutes, 
and then uh, I will take it uh, back again. So I, I go and take a coffee and uh, in a few minutes uh, you will see that it doesn't work uh, as uh, it's working right now. Okay, as you can see from the clock I took uh, a nice coffee and now let's see if I'm right saying that it doesn't work. Let's open Internet Explorer again. Let's go to my WIF application. Let's put username and password. Username and password. And now, I don't remember if I still have in clipboard. I take uh, the customized uh, URL, the smart link, and uh, oh yeah, right. I get this error. I I don't understand why, but I will never be able to avoid uh, this error. An unexpected error has occurred during login. Please contact your administrator. Well, the strange thing is that if I click on this link, go back to site, it works. But of course, this is not uh, a, a nice behavior. The point is that I will ever and ever get the same problem, and uh, I don't know why. So even if I... Let, let me show you this thing as, as a last thing. If I go to the application, username and password, and then um, I again I go here, I get the error. And uh, if I just uh, delete the very last part of this uh, URL, it works. And I press enter, it works. The problem is that uh, it, it seems uh, uh, impossible to use the smart link. And it seems impossible to, to find the link uh, that I can put on my WIF application to make it work uh, as uh, if uh, I'm, I'm working with uh, Outlook uh, or the main portal. So it seems uh, a bug or something wrong with uh, the smart links uh, to SharePoint Online. Thank you very much for your attention. I will now share you this uh, text file with you uh, in order to let you try. Thanks again. Bye.